Good morning everyone, welcome to my kitchen, Awaken Taste Nutrition. Today I'm going to show you a simple savory egg pancake. This would replace the traditional buttermilk or maple syrup style pancake that's very sweet and full of refined sugars and flours uh, that actually doesn't keep you satisfied for that long. So this pancake will uh, really keep you going into lunchtime and I'll show you how it's done. Come follow. Alright, so let's see what we have here. We are going to make a savory egg pancake like I mentioned. Uh, so we're not going to use any sugar, no maple syrup, although at the end if you want to add a little maple syrup on top uh, it would be completely delicious. So I recommend that. Um, now being savory, I'm going to add a few herbs and spices. I'm going to add a little bit of dill. This is fresh dill. You could also use dried dill. Um, I also like fresh rosemary or fresh thyme or even fresh oregano from the garden. Anything that Any fresh herb that you have growing, go ahead and pick some and throw it in. And I'm also going to use fresh chive. Uh, now this is such a diverse recipe. You can add uh, some chopped ham if you'd like, some grated cheddar cheese if you'd like. You could add um, leftover sauteed mushrooms and onions or bell peppers or anything you'd like to make this more of a hearty pancake. So think of it as almost like a crepe but in more of a pancake mm, consistency in shape. Uh, so today I'm going to keep it really basic with just some fresh chives, some fresh dill and a little bit of salt and pepper. So I'll show you how it's done. Now these pancakes come out to about the size of a large sand dollar. Well, you're not going to make a huge pancake like the traditional um, ones you would find at any restaurant or even at home cooking them on the stovetop. So these are going to be smaller. I love to serve them with a side of either bacon or sausage or um, a little bit of yogurt and salsa, which we could try this afternoon or this morning as well. So I'm going to start super simple just by cracking my eggs into a bowl, and I'm going to use three pasture-raised eggs. Now instead of regular refined flour, I'm going to use a coconut flour. And coconut flour is a delicious um, alternative to refined white flour. It's also gluten-free. It's a, um, a higher, it's higher in fat content than any other flour is so it will keep you satisfied and keep your energy going longer into the day than any other flour will. Uh, I take that back, not any other flour. Almond flour is also a great alternative but for this recipe the coconut flour is very light and airy and that helps give the pancake some, some rise. So we like to use this one. Now I have three eggs in my bowl. I'm going to add um, one tablespoon. I have a half tablespoon measure here. So I'm going to add two of these to make one tablespoon. And the nice thing about this is it doesn't have to be precise, which I am not one to follow recipes. And that's why I'm not the best baker in the world, but I'm a fabulous cook on the fly. And again, some eggs will have a little bit more um, water in them than others. So just watch your consistency. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. I'm going to grab a whisk and whisk this together. This is a very forgiving recipe, which I love. Okay, another thing I need to add is just one fourth a teaspoon of baking powder. and a fourth tablespoon salt. I like to use a uh, pink Himalayan fine ground sea salt for minerals. And again, we're gonna mix this together. So it's pretty soupy. I'm going to add just a little bit more coconut flour, maybe a teaspoon more, and there we go. I'm going to chop some herbs and throw them in, and then throw them in the frying pan.
All right, I have in here my herbs and my eggs. They're looking pretty good. My gut tells me that this is still a little bit runny, so I'm gonna actually add one more tablespoon of coconut flour. So this ends up being three eggs and two tablespoons of coconut flour. So all in all, we have three tablespoons, uh, three eggs, two tablespoons coconut flour, one fourth teaspoon baking uh, powder, and one fourth teaspoon salt. And in the frying pan, I'm going to turn it up to maybe a, a medium low. If I get the right burner, there we go. Medium low, so I'm on a six on a electric oven and I'm going to fry my pancakes in a little delicious butter. Uh, you could also use coconut oil or um, even an avocado oil if you'd like, but the butter gives it a great flavor. I'll let that melt in the pan for just one second. My butter is looking so good. Mm, okay, and it's coating the pan, so I'm ready to uh, scoop the batter into the bowl or into the pan. I'm just going to use a large um, serving or a large spoon, uh, a good size spoon, and do scoops at a time. I would say about two large spoonfuls per pancake, and they will spread out. Um, this is now about the consistency of a uh, a traditional pancake batter. So you can have a feel for what that's like. And I don't want to crowd my pan uh, or the sides will run together and they'll be hard to separate and flip over. So I want to allow plenty of space in the pan. Uh, if I planned it out right, I probably could have fit three in there, but two is fine. So again, the consistency of my batter is very, very similar to traditional pancake batter. Sticks to the back of the spoon. Um, not too runny, not too thick, but just right. <laughs> oh, it's starting to smell good. I know they're time. I know it's time to flip the pancake uh, when the edges start to turn white, so the egg starts to cook around the edge, um, and they slide around the pan easily. And I can get my scooper underneath again. A really thin spatula is going to be great for this, so you can get underneath um, very easily. And I'm going to flip the whole pancake right over. And I'll show you what this looks like in just a second. There we go, two beautiful egg pancakes in the pan. So that took about mm, less than three minutes per side. Again, I'm, uh, I turned the heat down a little bit to a medium, uh, maybe about a five, four and a half or five. And as soon as those are done on that side, they're ready to come off the, off the griddle and serve them up. A little fresh dill on top, and there you have it. So I've topped my pancakes with uh, sliced avocado, some salsa, and a little dollop of Greek yogurt. So I hope you give this recipe a try and find that it will bring more satisfaction to your tummy than a very sweet breakfast. So again, very savory, very quick, uh, delicious, nutritious breakfast. Enjoy.